It is so much going on. Come on, girl, let's get it. That messy, messy. Uh huh, uh huh. The gag is, I don't even think I said my intro that time. Did I say my intro? I didn't. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And if you are new... Welcome to the league. I'm having some technical difficulties tonight, but I tell you one thing that ain't gonna stop shit. Let's get into this video. Hey freaks, and welcome back to Mixed Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? All right, it comes to me through another week. Shout out to y'all. It is literally almost the end of August. We're about to be in 2022. Wow. That is crazy. It is. Period. We're talk about the minutes that these girls have given, right? So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna hold y'all up too long. Um, I want to give a shout out to my friend, and that is a beer. Hey, bitch. I mean, thank you so much for having my post. Hey, on. bitch. You're the first to comment on my Twitter, and I greatly appreciate that. Thank you for supporting me. So, I'm gonna take the time out to show you the appreciation that you've given me, and uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I'm recording, friend. So, now it's time to get into y'all favorite segment, and that is the shit. And some shit. First, because she got iced tea, we have two. Now, it is nothing new that Tusi has been in this relationship with Samara Jacobson. He tried the, the Deera thing, but okay. Time now. And we all know he made. Not somebody saying it's still low. Is it low? Or is it not? Matter of fact. Okay, he is low. Make his greatest music based off his relationship, right? He went to his Twitter and he posted, what the fuck is basically telling me being in a relationship is hindering my career. Bro, fuck this career. I love this girl and the world don't like this shit. I'll stop making music. <laughs> Nigga, say, I'll quit my job. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, it's still low. Girl, over it. All right, it's good now. So is it low or is it better? Now, let it be something. Let's get through it. Fuck. <clears throat> All right. Your music and say, Hey, baby, we are now one, we're together. This is what I was doing. 
Yeah, he kind of tried it on that. He like, nigga, fuck this job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose my girl first. <laughs> this is what I'm going to do because this is what I love doing. But I love you also. And if she's a real woman and she's down for you, she's gonna understand. Hey, go do your thing, boo. But guess what? You are gonna give me some time if I call your goddamn phone. You pick up in there, boo. Period. Do you never stop your life for some? Let me hear it now. Yeah, he kind of tried it on that. Yeah, for, for the people that for the people that can't hear it now, I don't know what to tell you. I damn sure just listen to it. <laughs> that dog <clears throat> why would he call her a dog Why would he call her a dog? <laughs> yeah, nah, that wasn't it. That that wasn't it at all. I can't believe he just called her a dog. Like what? Oh, sometimes that Gemini that that Gemini come out of Zoe Child. I'd be like, what? <laughs> the hell did you just say? Not some of my shirt. Sick of it. That shit ain't funny. I ain't even gonna lie. That's not funny. <laughs> Like if he gonna speak a fact, cool. But that dog shit, I ain't gonna lie. That wasn't that wasn't it. You know, I love Zo, but girl, sometimes Zo. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> what? <laughs> he called her a dog for absolutely no reason. No reason at all. Okay. <laughs> okay. When that man was laughing at you, not only did he do that, he went, got on, uh, what's the shit called? Got on Instagram live with the other girl. Oh, and no. Your ass that you said jumped you. And then met the girl. Oh, oh. Stupid. I ain't got to do it. You Damn, I ain't it. know she did all Stupid. that. That's on you. That's, that's what you want to be known as. You know what I'm saying? And then, I mean, I mean, some say you can have an upper hand and you don't want that one in a situation because you was caught in the bed with another man and this nigga still took you back. So really, he's... Oh, <laughs> Everybody's stupid in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> Him abusing that chair was hilarious. Well, I guess he obeyed Tony and she living it wrong with a young man. If it ain't <laughs> me, that's the key. Living it wrong with a young man. 
Oh. Ain't no damn way I'm gonna be post up with this man looking like this after he was just confessing his love to his dead mama every other three months. Like, girl, is your daughter is your sister? I'm not gonna lie. That nigga Fredo is terrible. It's no other way to put it. He is terrible. Okay? And it's like his emotions be just all over the place. I don't understand why he got to film everything. And him sticking out his tongue annoys me so much. I'm just venting at this point. That nigga be like. <laughs> it just be looking real, you know? And it's just like. Since a little, mm, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? Just him and old girl just got out of their situation. You know what I'm saying? He was just confessing his love to Jasmine. That is fact. He also knows <clears throat> when he posts another girl, Jasmine taking that baby. So I guess he's just cool with seeing her every three months, every three, four months. You show the girl, Jasmine taking the baby away. Sip. You know what I'm saying? And next, you're going to be on the internet crying, talking about, I wish I could see my baby. But knowing damn well, you was just telling Jasmine you love her. And then you end up in another country. This nigga spend more money on ass than anybody I know. You end up in a whole other country with another woman. I'm just so fucked up. I can't see Ava. I love Ava, man. Ava. Oh, I love Ava. If you love Ava so much, and you know your baby mama just ain't wrapped too tight, probably because you done loosened some of her damn screws with your dumb ass shit. Now, why you can't go to wherever the fuck Bubba you want to go? Bubba the fuck wherever, okay? And... Take a picture of some shit. Do a boomerang on your leg over there. Show the, show the hotel. Fuck. Show the resort. Excuse me. Show your villa with your rich ass. Show something else. But the bitch, I don't get it. You know she's taking that baby away. I bet she was like, uh, again? Okay. You're not going to see Ava for fucking 10 months this time, you motherfucker. Like, what, what are you doing? <sighs> I had to get it out. I had to get it out. I had to get it out. God damn. Bitch, did you punch me? How did you flip me? Girl, yes, Marissa. She could blow it up all over. Okay. I think she is dating somebody else. I, I, at least that's what he said. But she ain't showing him. I mean, okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> I get it. He should be able to show whoever he want. The issue is when he posts her and say, you know, I love my baby mama. I don't give her enough credit. She is just this, this, and this. I love her. Oh, my God. I just bought her a Benz. It's her birthday. I'm about to buy a mansion. I'm going to buy, buy, buy her ass. Clearly, she don't want none of your gift. I'm going to buy, 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 buy that. It's not her love language, nigga. I just going to buy, buy, buy. And then he think that that is a, 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 a fix, a temporary fix at the second and that is not her love language at all because she don't care about none of them gifts i just feel like she genuinely just don't want to be embarrassed and it keeps happening over and over again like fuck it's annoying girl it stresses me out <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> she definitely gives old faithful and definitely gives nigga i swear to god nigga if you don't take me to fucking jamaica i forgot where they was at child somewhere out in a nice area that i can't afford at this very second so who am i to talk shit but fredo see i say shit like that y'all because people love to be like you broke you just hating because you can't come bitch uh-uh Cause really, if I wanted to come, I can. But at the end of the day, you spending twenty thousand dollars every fucking month, y'all. In in like the month of, I don't know, probably like three months ago, he went to a different place three weeks in a row, and I believe that cost him about a hundred plus thousand dollars. I don't care how much money you got. Well. I do. Because if you was Kanye or like Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? That shit hit different. But it don't, it just, it don't make sense. And and to do it for a woman, because I feel like he's doing that for women. And then he end up breaking up with them the next day. It, it don't make sense. It just don't make sense. Maybe he's there by force. I don't know. Anyway, she's beautiful though. I ain't gonna lie, mama beautiful. And she's thick. She just style here, baby. But you don't get too drunk for another cup that's in his love back to Jasmine. Three more months, girl. All right. Well, hell then. If it ain't about me. <laughs> hey, Alex. Okay. Next to Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have India Love and Now, India. This week, Boss, this is ridiculous. This is this real stupid. This is this is dumb. But, hey, it, it is what it is. You already heard it. Girl. If let's do it for the camera was a person. Y'all don't even understand how people be like, bro, hey, hey, take my phone real fast. For what? <laughs> Film us doing this real fast. I'm the friend. For what? So we can look like like we popping and shit. Y'all, I, trust me, this has happened before. Okay? I wouldn't even be able to say it if it wasn't true. Film this shit real fast so we can goddamn look like we happy and shit. Let's do this for the camera real fast. <laughs> Man, if y'all gonna sit your ass down. <laughs> Talking about pH balance, cheating, and all this other stuff. Hopefully. His pants is tight as her. I just. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Devin was just in a recent relationship with Jania. And all of a sudden, they broke up because Jania, you know, she went to her social media. When she she didn't she play it off at all. But, but I don't think it was her. Was that her? Uh, That was her story? Damn, I don't know. It ain't showing. John, but the shit with Jania, and all of a sudden, I think it was his fault. I mean, his thing. It's giving me very much I cannot be alone. My thing is with these dudes, why they don't just smash, you know, respectfully, just everybody, y'all. And, and the, re <laughs> the reason why I say that is because <laughs> they always end up back in the same situation, you know, alone. So it's like, if you want to live that life, like, y'all, we don't ever see Boosie on the internet complaining about women. And that interview he did the other day, he basically said, you know, I, if I'm a fuck with a chick, she gonna have to deal with another chick and he just won't shit his way, whatever. <clears throat> He don't come on the internet, though, talking about his situations. He said he'll never get married. He don't want to be tied down. And he said he will cheat on a woman if he was to ever get with her. So why everybody can't just be like Boosie? <laughs> you know, why all these dudes can't be like Boosie? That's what it's giving. You know what I'm saying? Because they want a girl to care but about him, too. India, y'all don't know if she just want to be messy. Y'all know she got no undercover beef with Janine or whatever case it be. But I, I, obviously, these two already been fucking with each other. Y'all can pop out like this. And India heard what Janine Man, y'all, if I was a dude and he 22, bitch, what? If I was a dude with all that fucking money, 
Baby, I'm getting different colors, different flavors, different huh? sizes. Huh? I'm sorry, baby. These idiots that had a dog on crate thing at Gresham Park. At Gresham Park? Uh -huh. I told you they was doing that today. I didn't know it was going to be at Gresham Park. Oh, well, I told you. Well, well they must, that must be a, another one. Baby, he done fell his ass right off them damn crates. <laughs> <laughs> fell his ass right off them damn crates. Yeah, <laughs> y'all. If I was a man, baby, I'm having different colors, different flavors, different everything every night. Okay, dick always gonna be wet. So anyway, people was asking him what happened to Jania, and then honey, this is what he had to say. Don't ask me about people that you don't see me with no more. I mean, they faded away. I feel them on that. <laughs> One thing I say. hate is after they do some shit like that, they look at the camera and look real stupid after they do it. Look at look at this shit. He looks stupid as hell. <laughs> Baby, he's talking about Abram's cousin. You think so? So, child, I don't Baby. think they're going to be back together. Right now, when a man does this, and he pop out this fast and try to act Okay, none of y'all better not be on here doing the crates. Like he moved on, and he don't care. He cares. He is worried about Janine. He wants her to get mad. He wants her to run social media, and he wants her to act a fool. He wants her to act crazy because he is hurt. All right, so that's childish and immature. He gives me very much controlling, narcissistic, I run a relationship type of vibe. Very toxic, honey. But I feel he doing this for her attention. I feel that. Catch him in the middle of September or beginning of October. He mentioned he'll be back. I just have a feel. Because he just gives me I'm trying to make you mad. Uh -huh. And he gonna play as like, girl, I just want you to be jealous. I missed you. I still love you. Oh my God, I did that to piss you off. Take me back, type two. Like, uh, no. All right, well. You're not about to have me. I look a stupid yeah, little boy. For real. Hey. That's it, okay? We got Jack and Well, this isn't any beef. This is just, you know, giving an update on the relationship. It's giving care. <laughs> oh, they finally kissed on camera. I wasn't about to go look for it. I was always there. Do you the only thing is, is I guess people were talking to her because they're like, okay, how are you already in love with this person? How do you like her when you was just supposed to be straight with a guy? And so Crystal responded back with, yeah, I'm so happy. I've been by it. It's no secret. I will never date another man in my life. I've been through some shit. And through enough to understand that that is not what I want. I don't give a fuck about pleasing y'all or anybody else, nor <coughs> do I want y'all's attention. And Yo. It ain't that. Let me let him finish. And she goes on to say, y'all give yourself too much credit to think that I'm doing this to get y'all's attention. All I ever Y'all. She can't come from men. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I'm going to be with a person for three, four years. Nigga, three, four weeks. And you ain't make me come. And I don't come. Yeah, ladies, ladies, let me ask y'all a question. You're not a lesbian, right? You end up, you know, having a little fun with a bitch. And she made you come. A lot, right? And you normally date men, but men don't make you come. Is that worth dealing with for the rest of your life? I'm just curious. Is it? Are y'all cool with just dealing with the vibrator because uh, you rather help him out than... And, you know, some people use vibrators. I just feel like with a man, I would not. It, what would I need one for if I'm fucking with you? You should... Th th that thing should handle everything that I need. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna deal with that for the rest of your life and you ain't coming? 
I'm just curious. No. No. I didn't think so. Because I wouldn't either. I didn't. See? Well, okay. I got from a man is disappointment, anxiety, and disappointment. And to also mention, she said men gave her insecurities and she always ended up looking dumb in the end. And she's happy right where she is. Now, I'm okay. I believe that people can be by I believe people can be whatever they want to be. But what I think right now is that she's just happy. Do I think she's done with men? No. But you're dating a woman who gives the masculine vibe. Maybe you just like the masculine vibe coming from a woman more because she understands you, she feels you, she gets you. Or maybe but she's like, coming. <laughs> maybe she's simply busting uh, several, okay? Several of them. Tell y'all something. You could tell when a lesbian know what they doing. <laughs> One thing I would say about Jazz, I feel like Jazz know what she doing. And I feel like uh, uh, Ray So Wavy. I feel like she know what she doing. You know what I'm saying? Without all the emotions and the crybaby shit. We damn near nigga, I'm trying to take. She's dumb again? <laughs> no. Well, because you just already said Fear. you are bi. Um, I just think you she already got her own child. The wrong type of me. What I'm she miss? You're not happy where you are, but I feel sometimes people will go back and dig up your old tweets and say, "All right, maybe he said you want dating a man." So sometimes we shouldn't act out of we should respond out of anger because then sometimes that can come back and bite us in the butt, you know. But child. Right now, sister, she really, had, yeah. she had, she ain't going back to me and whoop, 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 whoop. But baby, if this end up how jazz and that girl was, you gonna end up saying you ain't going back to women either. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> nah, no, I, I, and when you look at, and this ain't no shade, but like, when you look at the vibe Crystal has with jazz and look at the vibe that jazz had with tay it is two total different women two total different vibes which means you was gonna get two total different jazzes you know what i'm saying i already tell y'all like i can't have a woman that's wild just ar, 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 just crazy like you know and mad hyper i can't i can't deal with that so i had to get a woman that was calm Way calmer than me, okay? Even sometimes I'll be like, all right, baby, like, goddamn, do a little something. <laughs> like, girl, you want to calm? That's what the fuck you got. So, you know, but Crystal ain't like that. You know, well, not until she get to whooping her, whooping Jay's ass, though, for real. But other than that, you could tell she just a little more calm. And um, I think with Tay, she just was a little more, you know, a lot. Like she 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 wanted attention way more and and uh girl a lot. She said what she said. She said what she said. She said y'all can get the fuck out of business because she don't give a fuck and she don't want your attention. Easy. All right, so let's so do your judeo stuff and do what you ask. <laughs> well, if it ain't about me, she don't want no right. Next day. Okay, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, okay, we have Casey versus Deshae. Now, child, I don't know what's going on. Girl, Deshae tried to start up some fake-ass beef and fumbled. Fumbled. That nigga fumbled, okay? King Seal was like, boy, I'm not about to. Nigga, I don't need the views. You need the views. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh, people are starting to speculate that this is another fake fight by Funny Mike and Corey. But I don't know. Some are saying they think it's real. They just think King Sid is not going to respond to him because that's not his type of thing. But he's out here doing some little messages and throwing a little shade. I don't know how this shit started, but I'm going to try to see if I can figure it out. King Sid had went and posted a picture and his caption has said, Trying to diss me, that shit ain't going to get to me. I think you pussy ass niggas not in me. Now, I don't so late as hell. He said a whole lot way before that. I don't know how that triggered the shade. Maybe y'all can tell me because I don't really get into all Okay, that. so what happened was <clears throat> the Shay, oh no, King Sid had posted up uh, some stories and was basically saying that all these niggas is copying off of him. 
and he said like damn like it's one thing to do one or two or three even three videos but he said nigga 10 you know what i'm saying of the same videos that he's doing and literally doing the same shit you know what i'm saying he was like like you can't be copying like that and then he said you know people not giving him his respect and saying where they they got the idea from you know what i'm saying shit like that basically so he tired of niggas riding his wave basically but he should have said that in the beginning because what he did was some leo shit he tried to act like he was cool with it at first yeah yeah that's cool man i ain't tripping all oh, y'all do that shit hell yeah but then it's like you you opened it up for everybody to continue copying off of your ass. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it bit him in the ass. <laughs> but this thing got up his and he said, he said, how do you host all these boxing matches? But won't box me after talking crazy out the side of your mouth, scary ass nigga. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. You out here host these boxing matches. This thing said you talking crazy. How about y'all just box each other if y'all don't like each other? Point, point, I point, agree, Sheree. But you know what? I don't think he's going to box this man. Because y'all don't remember, he did that fake-ass shit with Smooth Geo. Both they asses look the fool. King Sid and Geo look the fool. Even if it was a prank. Do y'all really think? I, thing, I think they fought for real. Smooth Geo and fucking King Sid fought for real. Ain't going to box somebody for real? And he fought like that? In a prank? No, ma'am. This man know better. This man gonna keep <laughs> on his social media and he gonna keep doing his shade, throwing his shade. Nah, cause the shade can fight so now. He shade all up under his comments, tagging him, talking about shit your ass up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. He then goes to his Instagram story and puts up both their stats and engagements from their YouTube, talking about some, you might as well box me anyway, get it help your channel. You need me. I guess he tried to hit him with a low blow when a fan got into Shay's inbox and said, why don't you have sex on his exes? And then Shay said, I've already done that, my nigga, what's that? See, it ain't said nothing, child. I'm just like, you know what? This is very much not given what it's supposed to hang game. At yeah, all. So thinking, oh, my God. The shade been smoking. <laughs> okay. This water. nigga is a, a fucking pothead now. God, he got one little taste of the reefer. It was a wrap after that. Every video, just like him and Armand. Y'all know we have watched them from day one. We have watched them from day one. So it's like when they start acting different and doing different shit, you, we know the difference. Girl, the Shay got him a little piece of weed. <laughs> him and Armand is the highest looking dudes I have ever seen in my life, bro. I'm talking about they be like. Oh, no, bro. Hi, 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 Okay. <laughs> like. Can't come down type shit. Girl, it's a mess. Listen, now you just think he's going to just beat somebody's ass. Boy, sit your pretty boy ass down. So, I don't know. Again, I think it's fake. I don't believe it. So, y'all got to just start watching. Like, why are you arguing? What happened? Where did it come from? Watch on how shit go and how people move and how they really be mad when they mad at somebody for real. Why right. am I pissed at you? And I want to protect your pretty little face. No, bitch, if I'm pissed at you, I want to fight you so you can feel this shit, nigga. Keep right. my name out your fucking mouth. I ain't boxing shit. We gonna fight this motherfucker out. Period. Period. I don't want that boxing shit for no music. So this shit ain't confused. This shit, bro, I want to beat your ass. Oh, okay. That's how y'all know this shit be fake, bitch. Let's box it out. No, hold fight me. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, hell no. Nah. I like the boxing shit. I like the boxing shit so they don't take it too far niggas take it too far and what i can say about the, nope 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 don't say that can't say that i was gonna say what i do like about these youtubers is you know blessed everybody has you know not been in a situation that you have to say rest in peace but that is a lie so um i i think it's better that they stay cool calm and collect for sure for sure all right
some verse in there about Kanye, and it's just like, okay, what the fuck? But my you, Drake has been at. Sometimes I don't get notifications at all. I'll see live days later. Kanye for some time now. And Drake is smart. So while Kanye got all this buzz, Drake got I don't know, friend. Now. And he knew, I think, exactly what to say to make Kanye fight. So I think Drake got some shit already written and up his sleeve and ready. So if this beat does take flight, it's going to boost his sales for his album. And it also going to boost Kanye. So they might be giving a Corey a funny life T situation as well. Just for marketing purposes. I don't know. But I feel it's something else going on. Because they, you know, they smart. And they know their beat will be out of control if they actually finally have it. You know? So anyway, Kanye heard the verse and portrayal that um, Drake had said about him. And honey, he posted it. <laughs> He posted and deleted Drake after it. I'm like, wait a minute. This is what I was saying. I'm sorry. I moved the Uber and I was two hours to get there. I said, oh my God, I'm okay. It was, the wait was two hours, but then the get there was like a whole day and a half. <laughs> Y'all know Drake will hit that back to back. He won already. He already won. You really make a motherfucker clap back. So, child, Drake ain't said nothing. He got was scared. All he did was giggle in the car. <laughs> Why you giggling in the car, girl? Uh uh. Don't giggle now, bitch. You threw it out there. Take it, girl. Say something back. What's the team? No one, no giggle. We want you to come back harder. I want him to take his time and drop a song like back to back, please call it Don to back, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Just make that bitch. Okay. <laughs> Kanye <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be doing so good on his spiritual journey. He on the in the sky, flying up to heaven and stuff. Now he's gonna be a devil again. He's gonna have to repent. That's the that should be the name of his damn album instead of John. Just gonna be repent. <laughs> okay. What about the happy is gonna be out of control. And see, I don't know Drake. Drake is good. He's a good artist. You know what I'm saying? He knows how to make music, but it's something about Kanye. When he get in that zone, Drake, I ain't gonna lie. Kanye hit real different with the words when he in his zone. But so does Drake. So, uh, he might want to leave that alone. Drake, you might want to sit this one out. This gonna be real. I agree, uh, Jesse. Everything he already making, trying to be focused, making his album dedicated to his mother. Child, they really about to make this man lose his shit. This, this is about to be ugly. I think this is beat. This thing has been going on for some years, and it's not. I think it's about to reach its point where it breaks. Child, y'all hold on, cause this gonna be a motherfucker back. Okay. All right. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping. Okay. Next one, okay. We have Dear versus Keith. Dear and Ken finally 
Ollie announces that they are going to go their separate ways and do their own channel. Guys, we want to thank every single person in the DK gang for riding on this journey for almost seven plus years. You watched us do challenges. You watched us do pranks. You watched us travel the world. Skydive. Science experiments. We have really done so much and so little on YouTube, and you guys have watched us from the beginning. Just like you're doing now. And you have watched that journey since day one, since I was 18. They got a great PR, I'm trying to say. Now, we say all of that just to say that this is not the end. It's not the end, guys. Don't, yeah. don't even. Don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> I know you guys have been asking about separate channels, and this is where we are now. We don't know the future. We don't know what will happen in the future. We don't know. Um, however, everything is stand up. We aren't deleting any videos on both. <laughs> We don't know what's going to happen in the future, but y'all make sure y'all keep watching them old videos so we can continue to get that bag, but we ain't coming back. Also, make sure y'all subscribe to these new channels. I'm telling y'all exactly what they said. Our main channel and our vlog channel, so you guys can go back to watch anything you want to watch. And another question is, are we beefing? No, we aren't beefing. You know, no hate. No hate. No bad. No bad. Yeah. We good. Yeah, I think that pretty much wraps it up, guys. So we appreciate you guys for riding on this journey again. And, yeah, stay tuned. Enjoy the content. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, DK Gang, for supporting us up until now. And thank you. I know, dear. Like, you dumbass nigga, man. That's what the fuck I would have been thinking the whole time. Oh, but thank God, you know, we ain't got to do this no more. That's what the air is thinking. For everyone who's going to support us after yeah. and support us in our separate endeavors. Well, to be honest, there's not much we can say. But what we do know is they told us they broke up without telling us they broke up. For now, real. <laughs> we already knew they are going to do it real classy. They're not the messy type of individuals. Exactly. They don't. Do all that bashing each other. As you can see, people what you eating, friend? Comments, as you can see, she was liking people's posts when they said they broke up without telling us they broke up and things like that. So, I mean, you already know. Um, but I like the way they did it. I'm glad they did it with class. I'm glad they didn't like bash each other, which I already know when people say, you know, there's no hate. We don't hate each other, child. Yeah, baby, um, behind the scenes, I can't stand your motherfucking ass. But it ain't no hey, you know, we good, we cool, you know what I'm saying? Fucking with each other. They're just really mature people, period. Um, so if you want, watch Diara, watch Ken. So Ayana, you just gonna rub that shit in my face? Cause I don't have any right now, friend. I bet. Cause now they're gonna go their own journeys. Ken. <laughs> 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 Girl, a debacle. So everybody that's eating hair, air hair is going to rub it in. Okay, but his passion, but like this mean war. With me, but he wasn't. You know what I mean? And I feel like you know that really hit my trust. Like you know that really, as a woman and as a person, that really just fuck up. Cause you know <laughs> you could give somebody your. Well, all I hope you're enjoying them. You could give somebody your all and they still not be grateful for it, or they still not be appreciative appreciative up for it. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, you know what I mean? And then to think that, oh, you know, you say, oh, you know, you was never in love. But damn, you know, we was like talking for five years. You know what I mean? So for somebody that can fake it for five years. Baby, yes. can you make me some tea, please? Yes. Or it's just, put, it's just really put one of them teas in it. Huh? Put one of them teas in it, the other tea. The, the the one of them teas we got in there. Put the detox tea with one of them other teas we got in there. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you. It just really, it really showed me as a woman that I have to love myself first and I always have to put myself first. Now, that one right there about King, that shit pissed me off. Because King know good and damn well. And I'm like, me, don't even pay that bullshit no attention because this man is just saying what he want that girl to hear. This man know he was in love with her. They did for like five, what, five years in high school. People are, they're really not getting it. You can think that you're in love with someone. Y'all break up and you literally realize I really wasn't in love with you. Love will make you do some crazy shit. And just because you with a person for a long ass time don't mean y'all was in love. Y'all might have been in like with a lot of shit that was going on. You might have loved them too. But in love, it ain't the same. No, he's saying that because Nick didn't never let him talk. Hey, I'm going to just be the one to say it. I'm going to just be the one to say it. That girl never, I'm not, it don't even have to be an argument. She didn't let him talk ever. <clears throat> so I know off camera that shit was horrible. But even in the last video that they attempted to do together, he could never speak. She, he couldn't even tell her I ain't in love with you no more because she wouldn't hurt him. He can't ever, ever, ever speak. Ever. <laughs> so it's just like, girl, it's a lot with that. <clears throat> I feel like he didn't have sex with Carmen because he said that's the reason he did it to find out information. She was talking to Fredo. Remember Corey said she was talking to him and then she popped out. Oh, with Fredo Bang. Yeah. Yeah, she definitely was talking to Fredo. Facts. That he is in love with her. He's not gonna cheat on her. Child bullshit. Gonna cheat too. That relationship gonna fall. She's gonna be a bad mama as well. Watch what I tell you. Why? It's okay. We ain't, we ain't never gonna think the same. Y'all can side with Zoe and you know, feel how you feel, but I feel how I feel too. And the way she was treating him ain't no fucking way. I ain't saying he wasn't treating her away, you know, but she gotta quit playing this victim shit like she was just. He just did, he always did this, he always did that. No, you was actually talking to Fredo Bang, you actually end up fucking with Fredo Bang, and it actually became public. And you trying to act like that wasn't the case. Also, you never let the nigga talk, ever. Shit, maybe he wasn't in love, and maybe he wanted to tell you, but you would never let him fucking talk. Even on a good day, she wouldn't let him talk. God, nigga can't even finish the intro. <laughs> Fuck. Man, why? He can't speak, then leave a note, type a letter, send a text. It ain't that simple. Hell no. Nah. We're not talking about when you get in a heated argument. Me and TT get in a heated argument, we don't hear each other. They wasn't even, they didn't even have to be in a heated argument. Just regular conversation, trying to do a goddamn video. <laughs> she wouldn't, don't make me go back into the archives of him not being able to speak. That's how I ended up seeing their videos when they fell out with Carmen and Corey the first time. That's when I first started watching their videos. I said, God damn, this girl don't let that boy talk. I hated it. I hated it. He could never speak. So when he started speaking on his own channel, that was amazing. That was amazing. You know what I'm saying? But, y'all, this ain't, this. I'm not saying this for us to, to agree or disagree. You know, y'all gonna feel how y'all feel, and I'm gonna feel how I feel, but I'm just gonna stand on this, because I sat there and watched that shit. Fuck that. Everybody that I see <clears throat> doing videos, one person talking, the other one is talking as well. With them two, it wasn't like that, aside from Corey. Corey barely let, Car barely let Karma speak, too. However, when she do speak, for the most part, he will listen. Or he will just let her finish what she got to say. And then he go on by her business. That ain't what the fuck Neek was doing, bro. 
You just said you want to love this girl, you happy over here, but if you happy to love over here, why are you worried about what the fuck going on with her and Carmen because you still care about me? And don't forget about that fucking video y'all made together when y'all sat down and relax. <laughs> <laughs> still love her. How about how she used to hit him all the time when she was mad, when she pranked him? Their relationship was always toxic. Y'all, first of all, pranks is fake. He probably told her to hit him, hit him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's what the fuck people was interested in with the pranks. So I'm not about to sit here and call her abusive. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that shit is acting. But when it comes to her listening to him, she wasn't listening. That comment shouldn't have been made. Um, I just feel like... Yes, communication is something you work on with someone you can speak to, y'all. You got to be able to hear me, and I got to be able to hear you. Y'all, they were in a video. You know what? Because I don't know if this going to cut off the stream. I'm so ready to go. I'm so ready to go. <laughs> the last video I reacted to of them got... Uh, I just don't want it to fuck with my stream. Thank you, honey. Thank you. I don't want this to fuck with my stream. But y'all, that one. Fuck this shit. Y'all want to take it there? Let's fucking take it there then. To speak on your past relationships knowing that you have love for that person like it was history like I'm a part of his history he's a part of my history he's always going to be a part of my history you shouldn't belittle the situation or belittle the history with with somebody you had to you know shine a light on something you have now you know what I'm saying if somebody said would you ever be cool with Carmen again a lot of people ask me this question no I would never be cool with Carmen again nah Brie I, I don't I don't think so what happened with you and Kiana? Nothing really happened. Um, she just was like talking about me, and I just unfollowed her. But it's it's really nothing. Like we, I just unfollowed her, and she just, you know. But that's it. Now that right there is what made Carmen upset. Where I feel people are overlooking um, is Carmen didn't get upset about what was said. The little five, two seconds, whatever. Carmen was upset. Okay. Uh. Czar. Neek was trying to be friends with her and rekindle their friendship, hanging out with her, shopping, whatever, going out to eat, kids having play dates, all this other stuff. Y'all were just behind the scenes trying to make shit work, but you go on the internet and make people believe, oh, I'll fuck with her. And to me, that's moving sneaky, that's moving dirty, that's moving foul, when really you behind the scenes trying to be my friend, but you want to keep this image out in public, oh, I don't fuck with this bitch. Why I'm making this video is because I don't like when a person is being fake towards me when I was nothing but real to you, and I'm going to touch a lot of points that I hope that a lot of y'all can really understand and just really, like, stop putting my name down as if I'm the person who do everything wrong. Like, main thing is, me, don't sit there and make a video answering a question that you know the truth behind that question. Like, you made a video calling me fake that I was a fake snake so I'm now I'm gonna say this to you you are really fake for even answering that question and say I would never be cool with Carmen again we done link up like four five times I met you at Starbucks you had Kaiser I had CJ they playing in the back of your truck when you first got your truck when you first got the AP watch I'm there I knew it before you even posted so I'm there you either you want to link up with me yeah so Bree said basically if if you if if um not if you if you <laughs> she said uh basically if if i'm a woman and you know or i'm a man or, no i'm a woman and you a dude and you let me run a relationship am i gonna stop nah but the thing is what i'm saying is she don't own up to shit that's my whole argument it ain't really with him at the end of the day they both deserve the same respect brie Cause Bri is like fuck king, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you know I get it, cause you don't you're not feeling his side. I completely understand that, but at the end of the day, sis still should have shown some type of respect. Now what I will say is Nick do need the type of nigga to slap her ass up and not physically. You know what I'm saying? Like she need a nigga to yo cub, hey shut up, nigga, fuck. She is that type of person. 
Absolutely right. And maybe just, he just wasn't. You know what I'm saying? But I just be wanting her to own up to some shit. It wasn't all on him, Bree, friend. It wasn't all on him. Now, sick of it. Just to show me you had the car or whatever the situation was, but we didn't talk over there in the store by Galleria. So after that, like, after It was Carmen telling everyone they met for me. Talking me. That's why Carmen snapped back. And y'all gotta be honest. Carmen came out with them receipts. She did. Everything Carmen talked about, she had them receipts, the text messages, everything. Carmen's like, look at this. But the reason people don't want to believe Carmen is because Carmen's always in mess. And y'all can't blame her. Y'all gotta blame Carmen for that. Uh, okay, shit. for real. Carmen keep that woman in mess. And it ain't really like mess I with people. Agree. It's mess with her. She is this, that, bad savage. Corey is the one that keep Carmen in all that drama. Broke. We've been talking, Miss. We've been texting. We've been on FaceTime. We've been talking like friends. Like none of this stuff happened. So the fact that you can sit there and just look big and like, oh, she just mature and, and rotting on cut. I mean, that's just going to come in again. That's really for me because now I feel like, what was your intentions of even coming back into my life? And then you turn around and do like the this. Because right now, girl, she needed some help. Why we not cool? It's because I blocked you. I and decided to block you on my social media on the phone. I blocked you. Only reason is because you still was doing the same thing you was doing back in 2018. After I addressed it and after I said to you how I felt, no, and how I not broke that's not what again. What I do it. You never was doing a production video. You never was doing no B rolls on your video. The smash. That's crazy. Nick did not respond. I'm just now realizing that. Jack, my ass ain't been looking. I ain't gonna lie. Did she respond? <laughs> understand that we are doing it and you get credit when the person needs to be credit who gave the credit to king c so mind you after she came out with all the receipts and everything that proved what she was saying and them hanging out neat then goes and she um Oh, shit. She said, bitch, you're weird. I'm not watching a whole weird ass video. I said, I never stopped talking to you from the video on out. And I'm guessing she's saying that because they were hanging out before that video. But mind you, go back to what Carmen said. They were hanging out. But the reason Carmen got upset is it seemed like Neek was hanging back out with her just to see what was going on. And Carmen said she made a video. And then when she saw Neek make the kind of exact same video, it was like, bitch, are you trying to be my friend? Are you just here to take ideas and stuff? Oh, my God. Another so spot, bro. Her, like, girl, you're not really here for the friendship. You're here for another purpose. So that's why she blocked her. But when you do your 50 questions, when Neek gave me no credit, you got that video wrong for me. Because if that was the case, if you wasn't copy, you could have did uh, 80 questions, 100 questions. You could have, you know, made it so different. If you watch my video and her video is the exact same thing, started with a knocking on the door, walking in. Child Karma had me at that. I said, damn. This and the third. And I'm not going to lie to you. I got that video idea from Kim Kardashian. That's who I got it from when she did her magazine. And I addressed it with you and I told you, I said, listen, I feel like you came back into my life only because you want me to link up with you only when you want to. Fuck. Or when you may be tired of cold. Oh, this a mess. not around you. Hey, I got cold. And I guess because she blocked her before that video and amongst them hanging out, Meek had seen it and was like, damn, why this bitch blocked me? But that's why Carmen blocked her was because of that. And so that's when Meek got on her video and said, hey, I'll never hang out with her again because she got blocked. That's what I'm picking up. Did y'all follow that? Anyway, yeah. And then make it clear if you ever, which you're not going to talk about this no more, but let's make it clear that y'all situation was big up before Carmen even came in the picture. But nobody knew because y'all like to plant for camera. Y'all like to still make this, oh, couple look good. We the good couple don't go through nothing. We these and the third. Like, that was I, a mess. I was there, me. I was there all the way. I was there until you first started feeling he was cheating on you. When you first started reading messages between him and all Child, Carmen, you was the girlfriend. We know, friend. We know. 
You know what? Last time I was reacting to the shit, it cut off my stream. It's giving bad luck. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't even want to hear this shit. Whole stream cut off. They want to cover it all up. Like, Parker said, Neek has this persona on, on her social media. She's just... Blunt, a hot ass mess, mess good, okay? This and that. But behind the scenes, it's like, damn, she's this wild ass person. So I feel like they were trying to save face, save card, and I think they covered up Carmen fucking that man. And maybe that's why Corey be doing what he do so much because Corey slipped. And maybe that's why Corey won't Not you putting Corey. some shit together. Because she knows she fucked up too. So it's like they fuck. Oh! <laughs> why the I think that she really think he did. I think that makes her feel better. It's like starting an argument with your boyfriend type shit. I think that's that's what she doing. Oh, my God. I, 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 I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Somebody is giving you don't want us to hear what King was doing. Who? I know that. I know. Ain't no way you talking about me because King Ass is the one who started all this shit. So I couldn't even hide you from that. <laughs> I'm just saying he owned up to all that shit. King made a documentary. He ain't hiding nothing. I can't hide shit from you that he already did. You know what I'm saying? But what the fuck did Nick do? Anybody? Hey, everybody. Can y'all answer me that question? What what did Nick do? I wait. She ain't owned up to nothing. She didn't even own up to the shit with Carmen. She turned the shit on Carmen. Tried to act like she wasn't even cool with Carmen. Are y'all serious? Y'all can take up a Nick all the fuck you want to. Now I ain't I ain't. I ain't saying nothing bad about Nick. She a bad person, all that. I ain't doing that. But my nigga, no accountability at all whatsoever. All right? Period. King owned up to all his bullshit. Every last bit of it. He already owned up to that. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I ain't gonna believe What Nick do? What you do, honey? Man, then I'm like, okay, and that's why Nick got so mad and came back doing all this cussing in these tweets. Yes. Why are you cussing me out? No, we was just cool. You know we was just cool. Trying to act like we ain't cool. We was just cool. Done came back in my life using me for photo shoots and shit. Done stole my little idea. No, I ain't talking about you, Bree. Somebody else has said something. Me and you done had our conversation. But I'm just saying, you know, <coughs> she not owning up to nothing. That's all I'm saying, y'all. The truth, yeah, I did block you. Yeah, this did happen. Yeah, we were our friends. And then me kind of like, well, damn, yeah, bitch, that was our motherfucking business, you dumb ass hoe. But you blocked me, bitch. And that's why she's so uh. angry because everything Carmen was saying was true. And now they going at it in each other. Girl, it's all. Oh! Girl, what if she really did fuck King? Girl, she ain't fuck King. Y'all know damn well she ain't fuck King. Nick would have killed her. Yeah, yeah, What I'm saying is, okay, because I didn't know she admitted to to getting back cool with Carmen. Okay, cool. But what I'm saying is she trying to act like Carmen is this huge weirdo. And that's why Carmen is upset because I'm not no weirdo. You was just fucking cool with me. I can't be that weird. You were just cool with me. Y'all seen the text messages? I mean, how weird I got to be? And you was just on my dick respectfully. Carmen texted her first, yes, because Carmen wanted to apologize. She felt bad. King put her in a weird-ass 
situation that she ain't even do. <laughs> so I get why she wanted to rekindle whatever with Nick because she like, girl, I did not fuck your man. I did not do that. <laughs> he, he, he told you some bullshit. That's crazy. I can't believe King did that. But he owned up to his shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, does that make it right on karma in? No. Like, as if I was Carmen, I would really be upset. Me and King would never speak again. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, with Neek, I would be like, bro, I genuinely did not fuck your nigga. Like, I'm not going to lie. I would want to try and figure out how, the best way I could explain that because that that's just, it's just weird, you know? I ain't fuck your dude, bro. Like, he just put me in some shit. I ain't. I ain't had shit to do with that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I get it. Nah, she better not apologize to Cora, stupid ass. But I bet you she do. She don't, Carmen don't like to be the bad person. You could tell. She hates to be the bad guy. Karma ain't the one to be the bad guy. Like, oh my God, I ain't even do shit. That's that's karma. Oh, I don't want to do this shit. I ain't even do nothing. You know, she don't want to be the bad guy. You know what I'm saying? But with Corey, like, girl, I wouldn't apologize to him for nothing. Oh my God, it's too much for me. And so, yeah, like I said, that's when Ken came out and said, if Nick was fucking my girl, supposedly, I would never try to be their friend undercover. And I'm just like, boy, shut the hell up. You the one who started this whole Bree, I don't know how that conversation went. <clears throat> but if he went to Neek and said, Neek, I fuck Carmen, that is a put her in it because she wasn't there to defend herself. So if, if King didn't pull Carmen and Neek together at the same time and Neek got wind of King fucking Carmen before Carmen was there, like, that's just like if I'm in a room speaking about you know, you and, you know, you ain't there and you can't defend yourself. Nine times out of ten, they going to believe what the fuck I'm saying. They already hot because I done already told them some bullshit. So you come in trying to defend yourself and it ain't going to work. I done already, I done already put that story together, baby. That shit lined up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he put her in it. He did. That, that, it's an unfortunate situation for sure whole rumor anyway so yeah and maybe he was really trying to tell the truth like if a nigga fuck my girl supposedly he throwing it Bree, Bree, i'm gonna have to finish this video for you but carmen said that that they linked up with the manager and i'm assuming i don't know if <clears throat> if king was supposed to meet the manager and and uh we're going to have to talk about this after the video because I'm not going to be able to finish this one. Just give me a second. Cover, so it's like, we got four minutes, friend. Really fuck him, Carmen? This is like King trying to say, like, why would he even come back in there if it was, you know, whatever. It's too much. Because why would he come back in this conversation and say that? Like, he gagged it like, damn, y'all really trying to be friends? And this is all we don't feel like because <laughs> of Carmen. But why they got to tell Neek that? Too much mess. Like what? It's mess. They met. A oh my god! I gotta wait. I gotta wait. Oh. Let me see. It, well, it's only. Oh, he's still showing karma, girl. I'm done with this video. Um, I'm done with this video. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We are on to the next video. Peace.